one of the most um, respected in the industry because of what he's done on and off the stage. So, Craig Lucas, we absolutely love you, my friend. Thank you so much. Time now, though, to get back in the kitchen, and I feel like a falafel. On Monday, we managed to combine a decadent dessert with the goodness of Be Well Canola Oil and lentils by creating the Death by Chocolate Lentil Cake, and it was a massive hit in studio. Today, we are going to be using lentils again, but in a more traditional way by making these delicious Be Well Falafel with lemon and cucumber yogurt. We're going to be throwing some chickpeas in the mix as well. This recipe is inspired by the flavors of India, famous for their vast array of spices used in just about everything from tea to tomatoes. And we've seen how versatile tea can be today. Nicole, you gorgeous thing. Um, yes. we, I feel like there is a titanium chef between us. <laughs> um, you brought yeah, out all like the cool gear. Yeah, me. I know. Don't hide behind <laughs> it, man. Just stand out <laughs> and proud. Um, so we're having a lot of fun. This is a, a meat-free variation. Um, this is one of my fla favorite flavor profiles, but I, I kind of don't think of it as an Indian. I think of it more of a Mediterranean kind of vibe, but mm -hmm. I suppose you can spice it up any way you want. Yes, like this is um, beautiful because it's plant-based and we love our plant-based recipes here on Espresso. Sure. And also this is one of those versatile things. A falafel is such a classic thing. And it's, but I feel like a falafel always has to have key ingredients. As long as you've got your cumin and your coriander and a little bit of garlic, I feel like there is your basic then falafel you can, already. You can start branching out from there. Yeah, okay. so I've got some chickpeas in here and we can, you can add some lentils. I've got a little bit of paprika, it smells so good. I love, love paprika. And there's our cumin and our coriander going in. And then we always love adding a little bit of heat. We've got some chili. If you don't have chili, you can add chili flakes as well. Okay. You know, perfect. if you don't have fresh chili, just want to turn our heat down a bit. Can Obviously, you want this because you're side. creating little balls and you want to hold their structure. So everything needs to be finely chopped. You want it to be kind of a paste that really yes, does. Yes, yes. So if you don't have a food processor like we have here today, you would ideally chop your ingredients a lot finer and then you can use a potato masher to mash it all together. Okay, yeah. really combine it. Okay, and we, we've got this entire recipe, our spin on our falafels on expressoshow.com yes. if you want to get this. And in fact, anything that we have cooked recently, you'll find it there. So we're adding some chopped up onion in here added some coriander, sorry Graham, but I just it's feel okay. like it had no, to it's go It's part in. of my journey, part of my, my re-education Your rehabilitation process. for... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like coriander, coriander rehabilitation. <laughs> so I added some lemon juice because I feel like it needs a pop of that fresh zinginess. Okay. And I'm adding a little bit of flour. That is going to be your binding agent to, help to your... Help it stay together. Yes. Okay. And of course, chickpeas and lentils can be very bland if without a little bit of salt. So make sure you add a good amount of salt. I like to always use um, molden salt, or if you're using Himalayan salt, it's always a good alternative to your usual you table radiate, salt that you get. Yeah, yeah it's sure. a bit healthier for you. So you're going to just add this in here and blitz it all up. And you don't want to go too fine okay. because you don't want to go for like a hummus consistency. You want to go more as like a coarse hummus, if you know what okay, I mean. A little bit I of bits that. and pieces. Cool. And you're going to take your falafel mixture so you can see it's still nice and, and it's nice fine and pasty. there. Yeah, pasty, that's cool. got a little it's texture. It can hold its shape nicely, cool. Exactly, so roll these into a little ball. Um, my advice would just to put them in the fridge for a little half an hour just to help them set, it'll make okay. it a bit easier when cooking them. And then when you cook them, you're gonna add some of your canola oil. So this is going to be your fat that seals the outside. Beautiful oil that makes it nice and crispy. And you're, you're getting your additional omegas in, which is great. 100%. And we know that the canola, this also has quite a nice high uh, smoking point, so it keeps its structure, it doesn't break down. But I would imagine with these, you've got to have quite a hot oil because you need it to fry quickly. You don't want it to kind of break down, as we yes. said, like lose its structure. Exactly. So my pan was a little bit hot, but now I've added the oil. It's just going to come up to temperature now. Then you're going to add your little balls in here. You can deep fry them as well or you could shallow fry them like I'm doing here. So it's entirely up to you. But if you are going to deep fry them, just make sure that you do set them in the fridge just so that they can help keep their shape. Um, we've got about 30 seconds while those guys fry off. What are you <laughs> going to accompany this with? Yes, so I'm going to do a little bit of yogurt. It's got some plain yogurt. We've got grated cucumber and um, a little bit of mint. So this is just going to help freshen up. This is your dip. Mm. I'm going to add that in there with a little squeeze of lemon and some of your tangy mayo, just two tablespoons. 
Lovely. This is one of my favorite, favorite flavor profiles right here. The yogurt? Um, yeah, the yogurt. I, I absolutely love the combination of something that's got an intense spicy flavor with mm -hmm. that yogurt. So like I, I did that just for dressing with pork last night, just um, fat-free yogurt with a little bit of kind of spice and hot mixture, just, oh just to gosh, balance it out. Oh my you're getting so chef yeah, 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 I, I, I love I, I it. I picked up some absolute gems and we finish that off and there you've got a beautiful dipping sauce for our amazing falafels and if you want to find this recipe you can find it on expressoshow.com this smells absolutely amazing um, you may already feel like a winner with this recipe but be well of course are giving you the chance to really win and win big we have another one year supply of canola oil up for grabs and all you have to do is reply to the competition post on the Expresso Facebook page or our Twitter page. Tell us how winning a year's supply of Be Well Canola would be amazing for you and your family using the hashtag switch to canola. This week's competition will uh, close next week, Wednesday at midnight. But you can find all the terms and conditions along with the recipe on expressoshow.com. Oh, it smells good.